The vagina, being one of the main organs of the female reproductive system, has to be taken care of in a very good way. Look at point one on this picture. The vagina has to be taken care of because it is the opening of the female reproductive system, and once it is taken care of, the whole of the female reproductive system will, of course, look great. So never you joke with your vagina. Now, let us explain this in greater detail. Thank you so much for tuning in. The vagina is the opening of this female reproductive system. So you don't joke with this organ because once you joke with this organ, you are joking with the complete female reproductive system. You need to understand that we have five major organs of the reproductive system, which we have the vagina, we have the cervix, we have the uterus, we have the fallopian tubes, and we have the ovary. So, these five major organs of the reproductive system, if you jog with the vagina, which is the opening, know that you are jogging with the complete reproductive system of a woman. Now, if you have been maybe doing things the wrong way, it is always good to start doing things the right way. If you are joining us for the very first time on this channel, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and click notification. Thank you so much. The female reproductive system is made up of organs and there are five major organs of the reproductive system these organs are very important but today we are going to look at one of the most important of all so these organs are the vagina the cervix the uterus the fallopian tube and the ovary so these are the five major organs of the reproductive system that makes up the reproductive system. The vagina, which is what we are going to be looking at, is one of the most important because it is at the opening of the reproductive system. So while we look at what you should do in order to keep this area clean, you need to understand that anything that happens to the vagina will affect the rest of the reproductive system. Why? Because looking at the vagina, which is at the opening of the reproductive system, it means if something good is entering the reproductive system, it enters through the vagina. If something bad is entering the reproductive system, it enters through the vagina. So we need to take special note for whatsoever thing we do to the vagina. Since this vagina has a lot of different factors that you need to take into consideration before you use whatsoever thing that you're using in the vagina. Now, there are several things that can happen to the vagina, like maybe you having discharges, you having maybe itches, you having maybe some very strong odor from the vagina. But something like colors, you need to take note about the colors because color of your vaginal discharge will also mean that you have an infection or not. Discharges will also mean that you have an infection or not. Other things like maybe pain during intercourse also will mean that you have an infection or not. Itches will mean that you have an infection or not. Taking care of your vagina will help you to have a better system will help you have a clean system, will help you have a better reproductive system. Now, the color of your vagina discharge, itching, odor, these are all what you need to take special note because these are what will signify you that there is an issue going wrong down there. As you can look at this picture, this is actually vagina infection, that is, inflammation of the vagina which is mainly caused by vagina candidiasis candidiasis is actually fungi infection of the vagina so taking care of all of these will make you to have a smooth ride of your reproductive system as a whole and the vagina in particular since the vagina is the door or the opening of the female reproductive system we encourage you i encourage you follow all of what I'm going to elaborate here such that you have your reproductive system in shape, you have your vagina in shape without you having a major issue of 
your vagina because having a major issue will mean that you have complication even at birth just like what you are looking at which is a josephalus that is an increased size in the forehead of the baby so please whatever thing we're going to say here make sure that you follow them strictly such that you can have a better system you can have a better reproductive system as well as you will obviously have a great pregnancy by the time you get pregnant having any problem with your vagina and your reproductive system as a whole mean that you could have issues with your pregnancy when you get pregnant or you may start having issues even conceiving at all hence pay special attention to all what we will be saying here now some ladies have the habit of taking antibiotics without prescription especially at the end of their menstruation or when they have itches or discharges please this is dangerous vaginal itching or discharges can be the cause of different microorganisms for example trichomonas vaginalis causes trichomoniasis which is a major cause of what some ladies term sugar sugar candidiasis is another being caused this time by a fungi so please never you feel that itches or discharges that you may have is caused by this specific type of bacteria without running any test taking these antibiotics without prescription is extremely dangerous and should not happen because you may just be destroying yourself and making it extremely difficult for another antibiotics to treat you in future now most ladies who go buying antibiotics immediately after they have itches or discharges may later on come back because these itches and discharges will probably still resume so why is it dangerous now here is why taking antibiotics without prescription could upset the natural balance of the bacteria in the vagina called the normal flora these changes make the environment favorable for the growth of bacteria that can cause infection this goes same for women using chemicals to wash their vagina or douching in the name of cleansing point two taking antibiotics without prescription could cause antibiotic resistance meaning your system doesn't respond to such antibiotics anymore and this can kill you in future as you may need this antibiotics to treat you but it doesn't treat you any longer antibiotic resistance alone is more dangerous than some infections combined hence scientists have warned the population to stop the misuse of antibiotics because of antibiotic resistance studies have found that women who do not use antibiotics or chemicals to wash their vagina that is douching without prescription were less likely to have bacteria vaginosis having bacteria vaginosis can increase the risk of preterm labor also it can also cause you to have sexually transmittable infections and even cervical cancer so what do we recommend how do you actually clean the vagina according to health experts including those at the american college of obstetricians and gynecologists they said that you should avoid using chemicals to wash your vagina that is avoid douching having some odor is normal however if you notice very strong odor it is important that you actually visit your doctor and you run tests to confirm exactly what is going wrong the acidity of the vagina will naturally normally control bacteria and simple washing your vagina with warm water and my soap is enough to keep that environment clean we should take note of it whenever you have a vagina itches or discharges or you feel you have a vagina infection please this is very important simple thing is you visit the hospital run a test for people of my area you can run a simple vs test in which sample will be taken from your vagina and examined and from there you can come out with a clue of what could be going on because i understand it might be expensive for you to do but running a simple vs test will help you guide you to know exactly what is going wrong so that you will know exactly what to take but never you just go on to use antibiotics like that why because of all what we have listed as the dangers involved in it when you use it 
So we really do hope this is going to help you. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Do have a wonderful time. Please share our articles to friends and family. Thank you.